Hey everybody, it's Mark with Cheese Bees, and it is August the 6th, 2023. Uh, it's been hot here in Virginia. Uh, we've had a couple couple days of over 95. Now it's, I don't know, high 80s, but it's still hot. Um, bees are hungry. This time of year, there's nothing out there for them to eat. So just want to show you two different type of uh, feeders um, that, I, that I've used and, and I'd like to use. This is the Saracel one. It's basically in a shallow super. Uh, you can put the syrup in here. The bees can come up here. This pops off, so they come up here. There's little uh, grooves or whatever so they can hang on to. This has been used before. You can see it's got propolis all in here. Um, these insides, uh, these end caps come out. No, they do come out. There we go. Usually it's better with two hands. But anyway, they, they slide up. There we go. They slide up. Bees can, can, can cruise up there too. Uh, the nice thing about these is that you can remove the plastic things and put your fondant or sugar or whatever for the winter. I just usually leave these caps you know, in here like this and it fits fine. The other one are these raft style feeders and they're older. Um, they work okay. Uh, the bees come up here. The syrup floats on this. Um, you do get some drowning with these, but you I think you can get more bees to feed up here. You can also feed one side. Uh, if, for, if your hives are tilted, uh, make sure you put it on the one where it's tilted uh, back or forward. Maybe that doesn't make a difference, but I always try to just fill one. Um, same thing, wintertime, you know, you could use this for sugar or fondant. I've never done that with these style, but two different styles that I have. Uh, what I do is I get these three gallon uh, water bottles. Actually, I think I bought these at Walmart. And folks, make this easy. Two gallons of water. A gallon of water is eight pounds. That's 16. So if you're doing one to one, 16 pounds of sugar. What does that mean? Well, it's a five and a 10 and be short or four fours or however you want to do the math. But listen, do not spend hours and hours on it. Dump sugar in there. I usually have, have a hose uh, with um, from from my uh, my sink in my laundry room. Run hot water in there, shake it up pretty good, and that's all you need. You don't need to do anything special with one to one. Two to one, you got to heat the water, but you don't want to boil it. But that's for uh, another video. So, gonna put the, these two feeders on these hives out here. Get them uh, get them going up for for winter. So. Two types of feeders, both of them has its merits. You decide. This is why I like these type of feeders. You can just lift the top up and feed the bees. The other reason why I like these three gallon jugs is they're not so flipping heavy. Five gallons, 40 pounds of water, this high, that's a hard no. So the bees are all congregating on the front, so I'm just gonna feed the back one. I don't want them to get in there and drown. Some of them are gonna die bomb and do what they wanna do. That's all you gotta do is just pour it in. Make sure the raft floats. This will hold a, a, a good amount. I think I might just go ahead and pop some on the other side here too. Just sneak on this way, keep them out. With these raft feeders, there's a little groove in there. I always try to throw a little shot in there just to help entice them. But this thing will hold just about three gallons. And that's it. Don't have to disturb the bees. There's that much left in here. Probably could have got it all but if the thing were um, level, but it's tilted forward. Top feeders, um, they're great this time of year. If it's in the spring, and you're feeding them and they don't take it, then you've got this heavy thing to slosh around. So uh, don't always have to fill it full, especially if you're able to check them, on, check them every couple days. Up here, I try to get them uh, uh, once a week or once every two weeks. You can see some of the sugar set to the bottom of it. Who cares? Shake it up like that. That's how I, I mix everything. I don't do anything fancy. So top feeders, I like them. Don't forget brick going forward. I'll actually make notes on my um, on my extreme posting up.